Chai, is it? Yep. Profession, rock star. Hmm? Future rock star. It's something about this game that just says yes. If you like great music and fast-paced action with some humor sprinkled in, then Bethesda's Hi-Fi Rush not only snuck in this year, but could be a game worth your time. Hi, I'm Lamar Bridges from Justice Not Vengeance, and let's begin. In this review, I want to go over the things I like to point out about my gaming experience that should come across your playthrough from time to time. I understand that our gameplay experiences will not be the same, which is fine. I just want to give someone a review who could be thinking of picking this gem up. We can start with the story. To start with the story of the game, you play as Chai, a young, ambitious wannabe rock star. Who signs up for a project to help him reach his goal of rocking out? But first, he has to undergo an experiment to help fix his arm. That's when things get a little funky because after the failed experiment, Chai is labeled as defective and must be destroyed. Luckily for Chai, he comes across a woman named Peppermint and her robotic cat as he tries to help take down the corpse, Vandalay. Visually, this game looks stunning and that might be an undertone. It is an amazing sight to have while playing this game because of the cartoon-like drawn, you can easily compare this game to Jet Set Radio. But when you get to the visuals, the real question is, does this game remind you of Sunset Overdrive? The combat is smooth and use rhythm for its combat. Everything involves a pattern of the beat. This is the core factor of the game, which is why the developers have multiple ways to find the beat. Everything corresponds with the music in the background. The items move to the beat, the NPC, and the best part, the enemies. The cool thing is you don't have to time the beat in combat to fight, but doing so gives you better and longer combos. The enemies will only attack to the beat as you would, making it easy to time the attack if you are focused. When the beat drops, that's the timing of the enemy attack. The thing is, the game does not throw one or two enemies at you. Sometimes you will have to fight five or maybe even six, and there are different types of enemies but they vary in the simple category of melee, range, shield, and of course, your bruiser enemies. Everything is used to help you stay on beat. The health bar has a beat to it, along with the beat timer. The beat timer will constantly show you a pace of the beat, which helps those who cannot stay with the beat. This type of timing can be tricky because the beat can become fast paced depending on the situation. That's the great thing about this game. All of the music is original and gives the game a personality. The music you are listening to changes due to the boss fight or the level design. The level feels different to an extent. Each level design follows the personality of the boss you are about to fight. Nothing special, but each interaction with a different boss holds some special dialogue to it. The dialogue is catchy and never feels out of place. The writers know when to add a joke and when not to. Which I am actually glad about. I am getting tired of the same character flaws for co-ed characters and stories. The boy character is a hero, but he is a complete imbecile, but has amazing talents. The girl character is always calm and collected with a plan for everything. I think it is time for that we switch that up a bit. Each boss has a different personality that makes them feel different. However, the fights tend to fall under the same beat em up style. Dodge this and wait for the attack pattern to finish. It would have been nice to get a chance for a change of pace and style. But what is not broken doesn't need fixing. As you progress in the game, you unlock more abilities and even get to modify your equipment. Peppermint even joins in the fight as an ability and even have a tag attack that leaves a beautiful visual in comparison to Dragon Ball Fighters. One thing I did not like about this game, and it goes with the majority of platform games. When you get to a certain point of the game after every move, 
after everything moves so fast, there is always the slowdown stage in every platform game and can be a drag for the most part. These little stages come in between the fun stages. You know, the stages where you have to wait for a moving platform to move so you can progress through the stage. Yeah, that type of stuff. It's not a knock on the game rating, but it's something I personally hate. This was a great hidden gem that Bethesda and Microsoft released for the year. Though it will not occupy your time for a long time with a 10 hour completion rating. However, you have enough time with this game. With that being said, Justice Not Vengeance, we give Hi-Fi Rush a 9 out of 10.